Following formation in the testes, sperm move through the epididymis, a highly convoluted duct system, where they are further modified and then stored until needed. As they pass through the top, middle, and accumulate in the bottom of the epididymal duct, they are coated from head to tail with beta defensin 126, a protein that has many negatively charged complex sugar groups extending from one end or pole of the molecule. In non-human primates, DEPV-126, and in particular the negatively charged complex sugars associated with this defensin, impart properties to the sperm surface that enable sperm to swim efficiently through mucosal fluids of the female reproductive tract. DEPV-126 appears to function similarly in humans. Human donors that possess at least one copy of the wild type or normal gene for DEPV-126 produce sperm that are covered with sugars that share the same structural elements with those sugars attached to DEPV-126. In this picture of human sperm, a green fluorescent probe that detects the presence of these particular sugars brightly labels most of the sperm surface. Human donors that are homozygous for the DEPV-126 genetic mutation that is, they possess two copies of the mutated gene and therefore lack the normal DEPV-126 gene, produce sperm that have greatly reduced quantities of these particular sugars. As seen here, the green fluorescent probe has both reduced intensity and coverage on the sperm surface. We have demonstrated in non-human primates that DEPV-126 is important for the sperm cell's ability to penetrate cervical mucus. Normally, DEPV-126 is well secured to the sperm surface. As shown in this video, the majority of these defense encoded sperm swim easily and straightly in cervical mucus produced near the time of ovulation. Human sperm, from men that have the normal DEPV-126 gene, behave similarly in both cervical mucus and mucus-like gels. By contrast, as shown here, sperm treated to selectively remove most of the DEPV-126 surface coat experience difficulty penetrating cervical mucus. Few of the defense and deficient sperm are able to move well beyond the mucin interface, and most of those that do, they swim more slowly and with a less straight path compared to sperm that are well coated with the defensin. Human sperm from donors that possess only the mutated DEPI-126 gene exhibit similar difficulty penetrating surrogate or artificial mucus. As reported in the Journal of Science Translational Medicine, Tolner, Venners, and colleagues demonstrate that the DEPV-126 gene mutation detected in humans is associated with the alteration in the composition of sugars on the sperm surface, significantly impairs the sperm's ability to penetrate mucus-like gels, and leads to reduced fertility.